Hey guys, welcome back to Technology for Blind YouTube channel. I'm back with another video tutorial for all of you guys. So in this video, we are gonna look at the Microsoft PowerPoint, okay? So I'm gonna show how to use the Microsoft PowerPoint in a visually impaired perspective. Actually, it is very easy, uh, just uh, as you would do with uh, Microsoft Word and Excel, it's very easy. So let me uh, walk you through on the basics on how to use the application in your presentations, okay? So if you are new here, welcome and uh, be sure to subscribe and enable the notifications so you will be notified about future videos, okay? So with that being said, let's get started. Now, um, I have done a tutorial on the Microsoft Word a long time ago and uh, in that video, I promised that I will be doing a tutorial on Excel and also PowerPoint, but unfortunately, I'm not good at Excel. Uh, so I will do that tutorial as soon as possible, but I'm little good at PowerPoint. Uh, I have created and presented uh, two, three presentations in my university and other uh, uh, things, other, other places. So I'm kind of uh, confident about my skills on PowerPoint. So let me show how to use PowerPoint in a basic way so you can uh, tweak these things in your way. Okay. So let's open Microsoft PowerPoint. Uh, now I'm using Microsoft Office 2019 version, uh, which by the way, it's not a problem if you are using uh, an older version of uh, Office. Um, I don't think so. Okay. So let's open the uh, Microsoft uh, PowerPoint. Start window, search window, search Start. And you have to type power. Up, up, PowerPoint app. Press right to and you window. will get the PowerPoint app. Okay. Let's press enter. Hey, PowerPoint, new grouping, new grouping, featured list, blank presentation, blank presentation, all F. And uh, in the newer versions of Office uh, from 2013, you will get this start screen or something. So in my case, I what I do is I press the blank uh, document which is selected by default. Welcome to PowerPoint, get started. Or you can uh, use the arrow keys to select whatever the format you want. There are a number of formats available. Bring your presentations to life with 3D pin status, unpin, ion boardroom pin status, unorganic pin status, unpin. Okay, so let's select uh, blank presentation, blank present. Blank presentation, press enter on this. And waiting for PowerPoint dialog presentation one, PowerPoint right. slide one, slide two. Now, uh, this is also as uh, the Microsoft Word, so no, no much difference, just the layout is kind of different. So, uh, let me explain what's going on now. Uh, Microsoft PowerPoint is a software which you can create presentation slides or, or presentations. Okay, so these can be used to illustrate something, uh, whether you are presenting in a in a kind of a professional environment or in school, whatever. It depends on your um, occasion. So okay. So this is kind of a very helpful uh, thing where you can display text, images, illustrations, graphs, all of the stuff. Uh, it's it's not a big deal whether you are blind or uh, not blind. Like uh, even if you are blind, completely blind, I highly recommend you to uh, kind of, um, you know, a little PowerPoint presentation would be uh, a kind of a groundbreaking um, start thing for your presentation. It will help dramatically, okay, to engage your viewers, engage your audience, okay. So. Um, by default, the PowerPoint the application, when you start for the first time the blank presentation, it will create a one. It, it will create a one slide, okay? Only one slide, which is the title slide. Now there are a um, number of um, versions of slides. Uh, for instance, title slide, title and content, empty slides, all of those, those things. I will show what's going on with those things. Now by default, we have got one slide, which is title, title only, okay? So if you press sh insert plus tab slide one slide view paint focused slide one slide view paint focused okay so if you press tab center title placeholder shape this is the uh, center title which means uh, now now you can uh, type whatever you want by pressing enter by the way you have to press enter edit multi light blank and let's type welcome to Spell. this presentation welcome to this present Attican. Okay, so I mistyped it. So you can use the spelling error uh, checking function to fix those things. Let's press F7 and toolbar pane language combo box English United States collapsed. It doesn't read what's the word, but let's go. Ignore one button. Nine. Ignore all add button list. Change list presentation one of two. Yeah, now there is a list. Okay, so this is the word I want. Let's press tab. Change button C. And you can press change. Okay. 
Microsoft PowerPoint dialog spell check complete. You're good to go. Okay button. All right. Okay. Presentation one. PowerPoint slide one. Welcome to this presentation. Slide two. Center title placeholder shape. Edit mode. Now, by default, the slide will be named as the title or the text which in, is in your your center placeholder. Edit multi line. Welcome to this. Center title. Escape. You have to press escape to get back to the um, main window and press tab. Subtitle placeholder shape. Subtitle. This is a. Hmm, Kind of a subtitle, small text. Edit multi line blank. Uh, by Muhammad Rashad. Let's type by Muhammad Rashad. Okay. I'm open Rashad. All right. So let's press escape. Subtitle placeholder shape. I'm open Rashad. Now center. Center title placeholder shape. Welcome to this. This is a very large font, and the subtitle. Subtitle placeholder shape. I'm open Rashad. Is a, a small text. Okay. So you can play with the font settings. Uh, I'm not going to go in deep all those things. Uh, these are very basic things. You can go to the home tab. Uh, first, we have to select the text which you want to play with and press the um, home tab and go to the font uh, category. And there are a lot of things, bold, italics, uh, font color, all those things. Okay. So those things are there. Now, if you want to present the, the these things, you, you can press F5. Let's press F5. PowerPoint slideshow presentation one. All right, now it it is presenting. Okay, now now the the slide has become full screen in a white background uh, through the black text. Uh, it has been uh, presented. Now the you can uh, use the navigation keys to read. Okay, uh, screen reader supports these things, so you don't have to worry about that. If you got a presentation, if you got a PowerPoint presentation from your lecturer or or your colleague. You can uh, open the PowerPoint presentation and press F5, which will uh, present the thing and you can read. And if you want to go to the next slide, which, he, which we don't have right now, I will create one uh, uh, in a minute. You can uh, either you can press the enter key or space bar key or you can press the left click button on the mouse or you can use the roll uh, scroll uh, wheel, um, which is in your mouse. Okay, there are numerous amount of uh, ways in which you can go to the next slide and also uh, this is highly customizable. If you want, you can set a timer which will go uh, to the next slider slide, which is kind of complicated. I kind of I don't do that because you know, in certain situations, if we miss the timeline, so you know, those things will be happen. Now, uh, this presentation is not uh, purely to present everything. Just you have to uh, include the bullet points, and you can you you can talk. Okay, this is how this thing works. Okay, so. Uh, I'm not a professional in presentation. So if you want to come back to the slide, now let's say we have got five slides. Now we, you are in fourth slides, okay? And if you would like to come to the back uh, third slide, you can press the backspace key, uh, which will get back to the third slide, okay? So let's press the um, left click of the mouse and it will say, oh, it didn't say anything. Power, slide show, slide. Uh, Presentation one. Uh, slide show. Slide one. Welcome to this. Welcome to this. I'm open Rashid. I'm open Rashid. Welcome to this. Ah, where is my presentation? Slide three. Yes. Oh my God. Welcome to this. Welcome to this. I'm open Rashid. I'm open Rashid. Oh my God. Where is my presentation text? Okay, let's. Presentation let's escape. one. Center title placeholder shape. Welcome to this. Edit mode. Welcome to this. Oh. Land tab. Land tab space. I press tab, so it uh, went. Presentation. Presentation. Welcome to this. Presentation. Okay, now let's press F5. Slide show, slide one. Welcome to this presentation. Welcome to this presentation by Bokum Rashid. Okay. Okay, now welcome to this presentation is a little bit bigger font and by Bokum Rashid. Mohammad Rashad is a small font. Okay. So let's press the left click key and uh, it should say no uh, uh, empty slide or something. Uh, we have got a black screen and uh, in the top center it shows the text I welcome Rashid welcome to this presentation um, start with this slide show I welcome Rashid welcome to this presentation it, it didn't update it but uh, it works okay presentation so one. PowerPoint. now the uh, we have got only one slide so let's create another slide center. now there are shortcut keys but I'm not sure how to do that because I don't remember these things so to create a slide press alt key and ribbon tab tab control collect. you will get to the ribbon tabs and press home Lower ribbon grouping, home grouping, clipboard grouping, cut button remove, copies, format, pay, office clipboard, slides grouping, new slides, split button, collapse, status, slide. You can press here new slide or tab, if you slide, go to the ribbon, insert, tab, insert all, three of tab, tab, there. Hey, presentation one, PowerPoint, ribbon tabs, tab control, insert tab, select and press sub menu, insert tab, slides grouping, new slide grouping, all. Here is also a button which says new slide. So let's press this one. 
and take one powerpoint ribbon tab tab control collapsed insert tab all and three of eleven slide two slide two slide two now this slide is title and content okay title placeholder shape let's say uh, uh, um what is the contents okay contents title placeholder shape contents object placeholder shape this is the uh, place where you can include whatever the contents which you are going to cover okay and multi line let's say introduction introduction bullet um what else uh, what is going on bullet <laughs> okay uh, how are you bullet i don't know this is a random things okay um welcome to this uh, channel right object placeholder shape introduction what is going on how are you welcome to this channel okay now these these things inside the object uh, placeholder these things comes on the left side of the screen with bullet points okay i'll show how this goes and another small thing if you want to start from the current slide which you have selected now in our case we have selected the second slide which is the um, what is it title placeholder shape content contents okay you can press shift plus f5 slide show slide two contents contents bullet introduction bullet what is going on bullet how are you bullet welcome to this channel all right so this is how the uh, title and content slides looks like okay so as i said if you want to go to the uh, previous slide you can press the backspace key slide show slide one welcome to this presentation welcome to this presentation by welcome ratchet and if you press enter or space bar or left click or the scroll wheel slide show slide two contents contents bullet introduction bullet what you can go to the next slide as well okay and presentation one PowerPoint. this is the basics of microsoft powerpoint if you would like to change the Sub theme now in our case in my case especially i'm kind of very uh, not good at uh, seeing this white background and black text because my eyes are straining so i would like to change the theme of the whole theme of the whole presentation so let's see how we are going to do that uh, you have to go to the design tab. Ribbon tab, insert tab, design tab, all. Then, yeah. themes button, each theme. Themes. Theme data grid. This presentation grouping. Office okay. theme. Now, if you have turned on the high contrast of your system, then this won't show the preview, unfortunately. So you you have to turn off the high contrast. But if you are completely Back. blind, sided assistance help. Okay. So let's press down arrow. Office grouping. Office theme not selected. Office theme two of thirty-five. Now there are thirty-five themes, so we can uh, use our arrow keys to select whatever we want. So let's see how it goes. Facet not selected. Facet gallery not selected. Gallery four. Integral loading preview. Uh, ion loading preview not selected. Ion six of thirty-five. Okay, so this seems a good theme. So let's press press enter. Slide one. Welcome to this All presentation. Right. Now let's press F five. Slide show. Slide one. Okay, Welcome to this presentation. Fantastic. Welcome to this presentation by Mohan Rajesh. Let's press uh, the left click key to go to the next slide. Slide show, slide two, contents, contents, introduction. Okay. What is going on? How are you? Welcome to this channel. So this themes depends on your uh, particular situation. Okay, so I uh, like you have to make sure that these themes are appropriate to your uh, presenting situation. So let's say, for instance, if you are going to present in a, a professional lecture, uh, I highly recommend you to pick a professional theme. Now. Uh, black uh, text in a white background is a professional um, style of uh, presenting uh, even though we can't kind of see well it, it depends uh, like um, it harms our visual experience uh, the the normal people can see these things so you have to consult a sighted help and uh, make sure that these themes are appropriate and also uh, your images uh, text objects are pl placed properly okay so these are best practices to follow before you are going to present in a professional environment okay so this is about microsoft presentation. presentation sorry microsoft powerpoint so there are other fantastic options which you can use you can import videos for photos and online clips uh, what else objects text all of the things which you can do to enhance your powerpoint or presentation experience to your audience okay so thank you very much for watching. I highly recommend to play with the Microsoft or PowerPoint. There are other customizations uh, as well in online as well. Okay. So I highly rec recommend you to check out um, and make sure your audience are comfortable with your presentation. And this will help to 
uh, stand out in a in a large crowd okay so thank you very much for watching i uh, hope re this has helped you out and if you have got any questions comments thoughts ideas please let me know in the comment section that would be greatly appreciated and i'll see you in the next video signing out momarashat